Hey what's up guys and welcome to another team of the season player review. Today we have this man Ross McCormack the former Leeds and current Fulham striker. First of all if you're wondering why he got this team of the season card in the past 44 games of the past season he has scored 21 goals and got himself 9 assists. So it's fair to say he has had a pretty good season. Anyway as you can see he's not very expensive at all 30k is all he cost me and by the time you guys are watching this he will probably be a bit cheaper. Let's move on to the in-game stats and we'll see what that 30k gets you. First of all, the physical attributes. He's got some pretty impressive stats here. 92 attack positioning, he's got 85 agility, 92 bounds and a decent strength stat of 76. Moving quickly onto the skill attributes, as you can see once again some decent stats to talk about. 85 ball control is pretty awesome. He's got 87 finishing and I've got to say he is pretty clinical in-game. 91 shot power definitely helps that as well. And also, he's got a 4 star weak foot, so he can shoot really well off both feet. Anyway, now we've covered a few of his standout stats, let's talk about how this guy performs in game. Now the first thing I've got to say is, he did not feel very quick at all. Now I'm not saying that 80 pace is really slow or anything, but in game, McCormack just felt a bit sluggish for me, and even the slowest of centre backs were catching this guy up. Luckily, McCormack's positioning is awesome. Nine times out of ten, this guy is going to be in the right position, and he does make some pretty good runs, as you can see here. And once you get this guy in front of goal, as I said at the start, he can be very freaking clinical. He's very clinical with the finesse shot, not so much the power shot. Be careful of that because you can very easily blaze it over the bar. Off the ball, this guy's movement is fantastic. On the ball, not so much. His ball control and first touch are pretty good and his dribbling is not too bad. It's nothing special, but it's not horrendous. Anyway, this guy's a striker. Let's talk about how he is in front of goal. And I know I've said it already, but I will mention it again. If you give this guy a chance to score, he will. He is clinical in front of goal. His power shot is very effective because his shot power is awesome. His finesse is extremely good. And also from distance, this guy can definitely put the ball in the back of the net. Was actually very impressed with this guy's long shots. Next up is this guy's passing, which for a striker was pretty good to be honest. If you wanted to play him at cam, I definitely think you could do so, but to be honest, I would rather have him at striker because obviously, as I've said like four or five times already, his finishing is awesome. So far, this review has been pretty positive. That's about to change as I cover my issues with this card. I touched on it a little earlier. On the ball, this guy just didn't seem so great to me. He felt a bit sluggish and at times I feel his dribbling really did let him down. His bounce of 92 is great but his strength of 76 in game didn't seem all that good. McCormack sadly was regularly pushed off the ball for me. So basically, if you get this guy in a bit of space, he can make things happen. But if he's closed down, he's pretty you know, just ineffective. Anyway guys, it's time to summarise this team of the season, Ross McCormack card. And as you can see, I'm going to give him an 8.4 out of 10. Now the rating might seem quite harsh to some of you, but on the ball, this guy for me was just a bit frustrating to use. But in front of goal, as I've said about six or seven times now, he can be very freaking useful. To be honest, I think this is the kind of player that you're either going to love or hate, so bear that in mind if you're thinking about picking him up. So, should you guys pick up team of the season Ross McCormack? I think he's one of them players who, due to him being quite cheap, is worth picking up and trying out if you've got the coins or are a fan of the player. But if you're not that interested in the card, then I would probably just avoid it. I think you can pick up better players for the same price or less. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Team of the Season Ross McCormack. I hope you have enjoyed this player review. If you have, please remember to leave a like on the video. Comment below who I should review next. Have a good day. Adios.